Here we go. Guys, I've got a really exciting thing to do right now. I'm here in this pineapple plantation in the Azores. And these pineapples are not ordinary pineapples. Jose, and you can see the De Santo Antonio. Yes. If we stand back, can you take your mask off or not? Great, thank you. Okay, so thank you, Jose. Okay, so he's going to tell us how you make these incredible God-given things and maybe start with the Venezuela angle. Yes. Um, the, this type of variety, they come from Venezuela in 1864 um, and they bring the pineapple to here and now we try to adapt the, the plantation. We try to adapt the weather in this small right so you're so what you're doing what he's saying is that he's trying to make this feel like venezuela in here yeah we tried it <laughs> when we and just for your information jose my cousin was kidnapped in venezuela so she was all right she nearly oh it was not good yeah. so i'm never going to venezuela anyway, well, you know, go, but you can going. come to, i can to come here, here. <laughs> yeah, so. okay this is the root when we harvest the fruit we remove the plant we pull out the old leaves and come this small thing. This is the root. We put the root horizontally and each root can give several plants. Okay. You can see here a small examples. We, we plant three, two weeks ago. Uh, and now we're waiting four to six months to get. It. Okay. I'm just going to zoom in if you want to no get worries. out of my way. Uh, well, just COVID wise, but okay. Here are the little guys. You have no idea how good they taste when they're grown. Okay, keep going. <laughs> After that, the plant needs space to developing and we move or to the side or we put in another greenhouse with a specimen between 50 centimeters each plant, you know. We put water only once a week and normally is rainwater we use in the soil because here in the island rain a lot and we use that water. Um, and we painting the glass because of the heat from the sun. They need light, but not too much. And we use limestone to protect the plant. Okay, guys. Thank After you. After that, we move Stand. to another. Building. Look at this, guys. This we are getting into the nerve center of these, and they don't grow very big, as as Jose will tell us. But this, oh, this is so exciting. I've never seen pineapples growing. Okay, over to you, Jose. Okay, the before, before the pineapple starts to grow, we make a smoking process. How we make that smoking process? We put like four or five cans and we burn banana leaves. Why banana banana leaves? leaves? Yes, why? The smoke has ethylene and the ethylene is a development hormone and the fruit blooming faster and almost at the same time. Good God. And well, my daughter is a chemist. She'll explain to me what ethylene is because I have no idea. Yeah. The anyway. Smoking, <laughs> so. The smoking process is along of 15 days. Right. After the smoking process, the fruit starts to, to blooming. Ugh. The pineapple is the flower of the of Okay, that plant. one no. question, Jose. How old is the pineapple at this stage? Now, one year and nine months. Two, gosh, no. It's a big process. How long does an ordinary pineapple? Around of one year in South America. Or right. America. Yeah. They take, is another variety. But this guy, these guys now, I'm never gonna, well, I probably can't get these in England. Can you get them in England? No, right? Oh, maybe, no, uh, maybe. I very much doubt it. But this is like a completely different thing. It's like yeah, ambrosia. Yeah. God is having one of these maybe right now. In the botanical garden, yeah. You can no, but to eat, to buy for the table, I don't think so. <laughs> This is what God has for breakfast, I'm telling you. It's really good. After some time, in a video like you will see, we remove the leaves in the center of the top and put some stick inside. Why? So a stick inside, right? Yes. Yeah. The crown don't grow more and the energy go on to the fruit. Let's just, let's just recap on that. It's quite important. So, so you stick a, a, a piece of stick in, yes. you remove the leaves, the leaves. and what, and that, uh, in turn, you aren't getting any energy from the pineapple going into the green stuff that you don't want. It's going into the fruit yes. to make it bigger. Is that it? Yeah. Yes. Got it. And the center normally is hard, but in our pineapple is actually soft. You can eat the whole stuff. Oh, so none of that annoying cutting out of the core. 
You can eat everything. Do we get to taste a little afterwards? Yes. <laughs> Great! So exciting! That is going to be the best part of this video. And rolling! Okay, and here now we have ripe pineapple. When the fruit has that color, orange, yellow. How old are we now? Two years. Two, two years, years, right. Two years is ready to harvest, is ready to eat. When uh, they ripe in a, in, a, in a plant, it's actually so sweet in summer. Is one of these ready to eat now or not? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I can't bear it. It's like being in a in a place full of caviar and you can't have it. You know? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, he's gonna cut one. Oh, do do that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, here it goes. Can I hold it? Oh. This guy's. I, I, I'm getting a little overexcited here. This is really, really good. Let me see if I can smell it. Just a little bit. It's like a mind-blowing, <laughs> ambrosial, fruit-filled, delicious, honey, everything else. I mean, he's yeah, going to let me thanks. taste one now, and I can be more, even more ecstatic. <laughs> okay, good news. I've been able to find some ananas again. We were a bit quick off the draw leaving the pineapple plantation this morning and so I didn't have, I didn't try the ananas there and I wanted to do a galloping gourmet moment with you but I don't ha have anyone to film me now. So I'm just gonna have to run through again with you just how extraordinarily wonderful this is. It's going down the little red lane. I'm gonna report back in one second. Oh, this, this is sweet. This is so sweet and so delicious and such a kind, exuberant flavor. It's just unbelievably good. Now, this is hugely exciting. This is the ananas from San Miguel. This is really, really famous. It's sweet, it's delicious, and I cannot wait to try it. So I'm gonna just get in there right away. And let me just tell you, here it is, what it's like. So, it's absolutely sensational. It's completely different from any pineapple I've had, even abacaxi in Brazil. This is the real thing, this is the best pineapple on the planet. It is fantastic.